Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. I will just come right out and say I'm pissed about the change that happened with me in my day job. And I, like I've already had to do this video like three times because it just turned into me ranting about it because I'm so pissed off. So I'm not gonna talk about work anymore. I'm pissed, leave it at that. Okay, enough about that bullshit. So it is actually really gorgeous out, but because of calls and shit that I had to do today, it, timing just worked out that I, I, this is the first time I've literally stepped outside of my house. And it's 20 after five. So I wanted to go for a walk. I need to blow off some steam. I need to walk every day anyways, and I need to enjoy this nice weather. So you're coming along, like it or not. All right, so I have gotten to a point now in order to, I don't wanna say force myself, into relearning how to be a photographer, but in a way to encourage me to start relearning and even learning new stuff, I have basically taken my camera, that new A7R4, everywhere I go. Now, I've been trying to sort of do different things so that I'm not just, all right, it's just a 24 to 70, and that's all I'm gonna do. So you've already seen me. I've, I've taken the 100 to 400 out and gotten shots with that. I've taken the 85 out because that was you know, the first lens that I was using, gotten shots with that. So I'm just gonna keep going in that direction. But what I've gotten myself to do is I'm doing a pick a day. So I'm, I'm posting a picture a day on my Facebook feed just for the sake of putting my stuff out there. I have a very, very, very bad habit of shooting footage taking pictures every day and then not putting them anywhere except on a hard drive not to be seen by anyone's eyes until I'm dead and they go through and they see the debauchery of my life so in order to combat that again I've been doing a pick a day I also I have a view bug pro account and I've been trying to start posting things there. Now, the one thing I didn't want to do with that view bug is post old pictures, meaning before I ever moved here to Virginia. So none of my old shit from years ago, even though they were great pictures, but those have had their time and I need to update stuff. So view bug only gets newer pictures. Uh, I started with, you know, like a couple from when I first moved here, cause I got some awesome sunsets. But now as I continue to get new stuff, if I think it's really good, I put it up there on view bug. There are so many <laughs> sites to share this kind of stuff with, and I didn't take advantage of any of them. So now I am posting stuff to view bug. I do post stuff to my Facebook. My Facebook though is people that I know. That's my friends. I don't, you know, like post my Facebook and my social media. I don't accept friend requests from people I don't know. I continue, and I'm sure that this happens to everybody, but I continue to get friend requests from random ass people that's like, I don't know you. Why the hell would you send me a friend request? Like, no, I don't accept any of that. I use Facebook to find and or keep in touch with people that I personally know. And m most of all those people are people that I have had physical contact with. So people from high school, people from the Navy, you know, people after I got out of the Navy, but when I lived in Chicago, shit like that. I don't, I don't do randos there. So don't send me a friend request. My Instagram, that, do what you will with it. I do post stuff on Instagram. However, I don't post pictures that I take with my cameras, like the A7R4. I'm not trying to curate, you know, a following there of all my stuff. The Instagram always was, is, and will continue to be just daily snippets for me. So if I find something that interests me, if I take a picture of my cat, every once in a while I take a picture of me and my wife, I take a picture of food, whatever that gets posted on the Instagram. I don't use it as a professional outlet like a lot of people do. So there's that. Then of course, the only place that I upload video is, ooh, bird fight. The only place that I post my videos is on YouTube. I used to, well, I guess I still do have a Vimeo account, but Vimeo is just an entirely different style 
I think, of video, and I don't even look at it as like posting shitty videos. Vimeo, to me, always was p posting short films, almost, if you will. And I never felt like I had anything that was worthy of that because I continued to just shoot a vlog. Now, while I may try to do stuff that's a little bit more interesting or cinematic or movie-like, I've never really put anything together. So there's no point in me like over, I don't want to say over-activating, but activating like the pro level that I used to have when I had at one point wanted to be a filmmaker. So I'm not doing that. Vimeo is just a place that I go and check out once in a while. I don't think there's any other place currently that I post to. I do have a Flickr, which I've had for years, and I retain it, but I don't really post anything there because I wanted, when I got back into this, I wanted to do new stuff, not the same old stuff. Which isn't to say that Flickr isn't a great place to post stuff, but I felt like I wanted to do stuff that I haven't done before. Hence, Viewbug. And it seemed like a good platform, and there's a lot of really amazing people on there with a lot of amazing, amazing pictures. So that's why I went with Viewbug. That's the only place that I post stuff. Now, while I do have a, uh, I just said Flickr, a Twitter and a Tumblr, Tumblr, I, I follow a very small handful of people that just post funny shit. But I don't use Twitter like everybody else does too. Twitter has become like a massive, business hustle type place and that's where people post uh, you know I don't know a lot of shit about their businesses and their, their hustles and all that kind of crap I go to Twitter I follow a bunch of people not a lot I mean I don't have a huge following anywhere and I also don't follow a shit ton of people either I don't follow all that many celebrities because most of them are annoying you know I Again, I follow mostly people that I know or I've, I've come across in my life and or people that have interesting feeds. And the same thing goes for Instagram. Instagram, I just look at people's stuff. If it's a Zoolander calendar where you just post the same shit, it's just a bunch of headshots that, you know, that you've taken, I don't, that, that's boring as hell of me. So I don't look at that kind of stuff. I don't favorite that shit. I want to see variety. You know, if you're traveling the world and you're taking pictures of all these amazing places, or if you're just staying around home, but you do all these amazing things, it just can't be repetitive and boring. Otherwise, I have no interest. If I find somebody that I think is interesting and I start following them and they become uninteresting, then I ditch them. I get rid of them. I stop following them. So I'm constantly going through and culling my, my followings. I'm not gonna follow you just because I know you, or just because you sent me a friend request or whatever and all that kind of stuff, or just because you're following me. Again, you have to be interesting. One of the things that I don't like is people that have way the hell too many social media uh, accounts. Some people, they tend to start accounts and start posting shit, and then they, then they just stop. Like they have too many social media accounts, meaning multiple Instagram feeds or accounts, whatever, and it might be that they've started it for a different interest, but then they don't do anything with it. I don't know, I, I kinda like to think that social media, of course, is a blessing and a curse. It gives us access to a lot of wonderful things, but it also gives us access to a bunch of crap. If you started an account and you've posted one photo in the last year, Away you go. You can do whatever the hell you want. It's your social media platform, but that doesn't mean that I have to follow it or that I have to contribute to it or look at it, interact with it, whatever. This past year has been pretty awful for social media. It has been abused by a lot of people and who needs it? So that's why I cut a lot of people off, got rid of them. Nobody needs that toxicity. That, that's not what our, us being creators that's not what it's about. It's about having a passion for something like photography or videography and wanting to share that with other people and wanting to help other people and wanting to celebrate with other people when they have stuff that is great and wonderful and so on and so forth. So that's why I just wanted to get into a little rant about social media and just don't put up any of that crap. 
Okay, that's it. That's all I've got for you. My battery's about to die. Well, all right, let me pause for a second. Sorry, I know I sounded preachy and ranty. Remember, I'm still pissed about my job. I'm trying to hold that back. Um, but as always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.